Over six years ago, I used to work with some business grade physical hardware firewalls, learning the ropes and making sure the business doesn't stop. Now, physical firewalls are very powerful. They were a nightmare to deal with. And sure, when everything was perfectly set up and untouched, it was fairly fine. You didn't even know it was on. But like with many businesses, systems and hardware changes often, new requirements and new software needs access. Ultimately, the firewalls were the biggest time sink for me. In saying that, the Sonic firewall was one of my favorites by the end of that career, but the Fortnite firewall was where I spent most of my time. And while being extremely powerful for a small to mid-sized business, they were unaffordable for the home. The ongoing maintenance and software support was in the thousands per year. The thing is, business life doesn't run all that differently from home life. While business usually has a password policy, software and hardware firewalls, on-site IT personnel or support contracts, the IT budget does not compare to what a home has. But both use the same type of devices and many can compare themselves to a small business. On average, a home has 29 connected devices. And according to Gartner research, there will be over 20 billion Internet of Things devices by 2020. Actually, let me know below what the worst password you have ever seen someone use at work or at home. I had someone use 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They said it was really easy to type in. Like a business, the home today has certainly grown in regards to the amount of technology it has. Even just six years ago, the Internet of Things devices were growing exponentially and homes began to have dozens of devices that had important data, access to the network and internet with little to no security. Smart TVs with built-in webcams, laptops with webcams, iPads with cameras, digital wallets, security cams, smart fridges, smart bulbs, smart speakers with cameras and microphones, smart and connected everything. But are they really that smart? These devices hardly ever get their default passwords updated. Settings are not set correctly. Even from the manufacturer, you cannot install security software on some of them either. And not every device has a built-in firewall nor any type of encryption. So how does a home go securing their network from intrusions without spending thousands? Well, let me tell you about this. Welcome to Segment Pat, hope you are well. Today we're having a look at the Trend Micro Home Network Security Device. Well, when Trend Micro reached out and asked if I would like to have a look at their home network security that is plug-in and play, has full app control and can protect your entire network, well, they had me at plug-in and play. Plug-in and play is my jam. Devices that plug into your network, no software required, this I had to see. So what can this so-called security device actually do? Well, the elevator pitch is that it is a plug-in and play physical device that protects all your mobile and stationary devices across your home network. Okay, great. But what can it actually do for your home? Well, let's go through some of the features I got to test out this month. It can scan your devices for vulnerable passwords to help you make better security decisions and it will notify you if any cyber attacks were blocked on any of your devices. I think this one is very important because if no one tells you your password is vulnerable, will you ever actually change it? Probably not. It protects your personal and financial data from hacking, phishing, ransomware, risky remote connections. It blocks dangerous files from downloading, protects your web browsing, and even blocks ads. Because no matter how much you tell your kids, partners, grandparents, or parents to not click on the flashy banner ad telling them that they won an iPhone is fake, they still click on it. So better to be a few steps ahead. Now, if you are a parent, you will love the powerful parental controls from monitoring to blocking sites on all devices or just one, even blocking websites by category. Then you can even set an internet limit on the go with Trend Micro's Guardian app and protect your kids from mature content. And even get real life notifications when little Jimmy steals the tablet into his room and as soon as that device connects to the Wi-Fi, Bam, you've got mail. Now, if you watched my dirt report on Sundays, you may have caught the story of some home security cameras in Queensland and New South Wales infiltrated by Russian hackers, then live streamed online. This is why we need something plug in and play that does the work for you. So what's Trend Micro going for here? Well, they want to be your smart home network security for all your smart devices. At the same time, giving you the controls at your fingertips and in fact, using the app, you can also access the system on the go. Still with me? All right, let's take a closer look at some of these features. Parental controls. So these are some of the most powerful parental controls I have ever seen. 
I tested this on an iPad, something that one of your kids might have access to. We first installed an iOS profile, which is like a root access to the device. Very automated, step-by-step -step instructions, took less than five minutes. You can also set up a lock to block your clever child from deleting the app, of course. And the Guardian feature even lets you manage kids' devices when they're used outside the home network. Now I have full control over Vala's iPad. I can pause the internet, get notifications when she uses a certain app, set use time limits, block websites, and even by age or specific site or category. Now Vala's my dog, by the way, so she's not really doing some of this stuff, but I was able to test it nonetheless. And most importantly, I can set Google Safe Search and YouTube Restricted Mode, because even YouTube is not very good at restricting their content for even kids' videos. Now, even if the device is taken outside my network, it is connected to my Trend Micro Guardian app, and I can still keep an eye on it and get notified if something naughty is going on. Network view. You can get a nice view of your network usage with a few taps. You can see each device network usage, and if someone on your network is doing a bit too much downloading, you can certainly pinpoint it. Now, if some devices don't show a name, you can go to them and visit a site and type in a name that will then show on your network list. Next up, internal threat protection. Now, when Troy fell, we all learned what a Trojan horse was, and Trend Micro has certainly prepared for this. Not only are threats blocked from the outside of your network, you can also disable attacks locally from network connected devices. You can invite all your non-techie friends to a barbecue and let them use your Wi-Fi with no actual worries. In fact, you can approve each person's request to join your network and use your internet. Why would you want to do that? Well, because you know Larry leaves his laptop in the car and torrents when he's at a party at your house. Now, setup. Setup is what makes this product really great. It's plug in and play, grab the provided ethernet cable, plug it directly into your modem or router, and plug the power in. Spin up the app on your mobile phone and follow the on-screen prompts to connect. It's like setting up any other smart device. You don't need to mess with your network settings on your modem or router. Just scan and start protecting, which is why I believe this is a solution for your folks. Pop around one day, tuck it behind the router, and you don't have to worry about them. Let's talk ad blocker. Now ads, I certainly believe they need to exist. Channels like this and many others, hell, 90% of the internet runs on ads, and the other 10% is ads. But there are acceptable ads, and then there are ads that scam, steal data, upload malware, deceive, and otherwise annoy you on many websites. The home network security device can be your network ad blocker. Now it's not official, it is an experimental feature and the reason I mention it is because they are certainly working on it and man, does it work well. Just out of the box, switch it on. That's not all, Trend Micro's experimental features list is growing, a sign of a company that's exploring and adding value to your device ongoing but also taking feedback, which is great. So what's the story so far? Well, since launch in Australia and New Zealand, this device has detected over 615,000 network threats and over 325,000 web threats. You may be wondering which devices are targeted. Well, from Trend Micro's research, it looks like your PC is number one, followed by your iPhone and Android. But to note, nothing gets left untouched. Printers, cameras, NAS boxes, smart TVs, game consoles, and many others are open to attacks. Let's talk price. On the current special price, you get both the device and two year subscription to ongoing security updates for $299 Australian. The thing is that it's not dependent on how many devices are on your network. This is a network wide protection for basically $99 per year. Luckily for you, the viewers, Trend Micro has provided me a code to use on their website to get 10% off your purchase. TMH SP10. So friends, thank you very much for watching. Hope this has helped you discover if the Trend Micro's home network security is for your home. Let me know your thoughts below and we'll chat to you there. Now, if you would like to learn more and obviously take advantage of the 10% discount code, I have added the links and details below. Again, huge thanks to Trend Micro for sponsoring this video. Thanks for watching and bye.